Last year itself in May, we set up these digital studios where we have a digital board like this so that the presentation becomes easy, easy the presentation becomes interesting and engaging uh, because there is a computer that is attached to this uh, digital board and whatever we can present on the computer, we can project here. So it could be an animation, it could be a PowerPoint, it could be a PDF, it could be diagrams, it could be figures. So the presentation becomes interesting and we can engage the students. So that is one thing. Uh, also, it becomes uh, easy for us to explain things. So we switch to digital boards. The second thing that we did was doubts clarification. We've taken the doubts clarification, which is a major pain point very seriously. What we've done is while the teacher is teaching here in the digital classroom, explaining on the board, on the left hand side, this is not visible to you on the camera, on the left hand side, we presented a, a, a TV, a large screen TV, so that if a student has a doubt, he can just ask questions on, uh, on the chat and those messages will appear on the TV here. And the teacher while teaching will be looking at the board, will be looking at the TV here and answer those questions. So in real time, as the explanation in the class is going on, the faculty will be able to explain whatever is happening, uh, whatever doubts that the student gets from time to time while the class is in progress. In a lot of schools and colleges, what they've done is, they have arranged a separate doubts clarification uh, session. But what happens, what is the limitation? The limitation is that the student has a doubt right now because unless this doubt is clarified now, he may not be able to proceed to the next topic or the next uh, point. So when he's got a, a doubt which is existing, you can't ask this, expect the student to wait for another doubts clarification session which may be held today, tomorrow or the end of the week. So that is not optimal and the students loses interest by that time. So what we have done is we've made this arrangement so that the students can get their doubts clarified as the class is progressing. Then after the class, the students can through WhatsApp uh, or through voice message or through by, by calling the faculty, they can get their doubts clarified. So that is what we've done. The other concern which parents have, I could not monitor my child uh, in terms of whether the child was attending the classes properly or not. So what we've done at Nano is for every 20 students, we have identified a, a mentor. A mentor is a person who is a faculty member who keeps in touch with the student after the class. He's supposed to make phone calls at regular intervals to the student to check up whether the student is attending. Of course, we have data, the attendance data, but to check up the quality of attendance. So he'll ask a few questions to understand whether the student is attending or not, the student is doing the homework or not, the student is do taking notes or not, the student is, uh, uh, how is the student performing in the weekly test? What are the difficulties the student has got? Suggest remedial measures for those difficulties. Uh, check up if he's got doubts and clarify directly if the subject is the mentor subject or arrange for doubts clarification. So this personal touch has helped us and no wonder our students last one year, the, uh, the, the, the seniors, the outgoing seniors went through online classes only. But despite that, they have done very well at the JE main, which happened in February and March. So this mentoring system, which is unique to Nano, Nano's online classes has helped us in terms of keeping in touch with the students understanding their difficulties. And this mentors also provided a lot of feedback to top management. We ensured that the feedback was worked on and uh, students were given suggestions, students were given methods to improve. And we use this feedback to improve our overall system. So we address some of the pain points that were expressed here. The other pain point was my child could not understand what was being taught, the entire digital board system was created to ensure that the students uh, do not have any difficulty in terms of understanding. And here what we have uh, ensured is that all our faculty members have to come to the studio and teach not from their residences. Also, we did not depend on Zoom, we did not depend on Google Meet or any of these additional uh, the third party software. 
we have our own portal and from our own portal we have uh, uh, arranged these things so that we do not suffer the limitations of a particular software the other thing that we have done is every class there is a recording available every class there is a recording available so the student if he misses the class for whatever reason because wifi is not working at home power is not there at home etc etc the student can go back to the video and play it back and uh, understand what is happening similarly the student doesn't understand perhaps in a class he missed a few things he can play back the video and try to follow